Hi, this is Jim with Nomadic Pursuits and I have another video for you today. I am going to take a photo and do some split toning on the photo in Lightroom. Now I've been using Lightroom for a while. I was actually an Aperture guy for a really long time and of course that ended up uh, basically getting canceled by Apple and so I went with Lightroom and I'm really glad that I did. It's very powerful. I love having it to manage my library and make edits in. Uh, but what I've found is that the split toning feature is very powerful, very useful, and it seems like very overlooked. I, uh, I don't really ever hear much about it, so I started using it, started experimenting, I had a lot of fun, and ended up putting a little tutorial on the blog. I got a number of questions about it, and I thought, now that I'm recording videos, might as well do that. So, uh, I'll take you through that. Uh, this is a photo that I took in Dublin, Ireland, a while back. And this is an HDR. I've already gone through and merged the HDR brackets in um, Aurora HDR Pro, which, which I love. And uh, that's my result of uh, coming out of Aurora. And it's, uh, it's nice, but I, I'm not done. And I wanted to do some split toning and bump up the colors a little bit. So I thought I'd take you through that. So if you come over to the right-hand panel, uh, there is an option for split toning. Just click on that and it drops down and there's, there's really two options. Uh, in fact, split toning, uh, although I think it's very powerful, it's, it's very simple. Um, so there's two sections. There's the top, uh, which has highlights, and then there's the bottom, which has shadows. And so as, as you can tell, uh, you basically adjust the sh uh, shadow and highlight colors and saturation separately. So it's, it's a nice feature to have and something that I use a lot as sort of a finishing touch type of uh, edit. Now, as I said, I've already merged this, uh, uh, these brackets into an HDR, and I had to do some cleanup in the sky. I had a bunch of spots on my sensor, so that was a real mess. So I, I tried to clean that up as best I could before I got into this video. Um, but I'll take you through split toning now. So what I usually do uh, when I come over here is I take a look at the photo and say, you know, what do I want it to look like, number one? Uh, and number two, you know, how do I think I can get there? Well, immediately... Um, as I recall this scene, as you can see, there is a bit of blue in the sky, but it was sunset. And so uh, I've lost some of the, uh, the bright sort of uh, orange and red kind of pop that, had the, uh, that the sunset possessed. So what I'd come, do is come over here and you pick your hue, and that's your color, uh, for first the highlights uh, and then the shadows, right? You can do them. Actually, it doesn't matter which order. But um, I want to stick with kind of the red, so I'm going to leave that over here. Now, uh, this slider, you just drag it left and right. And, and it'll adjust the color. So uh, you can also, however, kick this, uh, click this little box. It opens up a window, and here's your window, right? So you can just go in and with an eyedropper pick whatever color you want. So as you can see, I'll just click around here and you can see what happens. And uh, notice that we're in the highlights section, so the sky and some of the river are getting affected more than really anything else. And so I'm gonna close that. Um, I'm going to drag this over here to kind of the, uh, the reddish orange hue and uh, take that back to zero. So that's where I started, but I want to give it a little bit more bump and a little bit more punch. And so the colors were probably a little bit more like that. Now, usually uh, I, I do the highlights first and then I'll come down and do the shadows next. Um, the, everything defaults at zero. So if I leave it at uh, the hue all the way to the left, that's still in the red, and move the saturation up, as you'll see, the entire image starts to get really red. That's because I have the, the red already selected up top and it's defaulting to the, the far left hue in the shadows as well, which is the red. So uh, I usually uh, take this one, drag it. I had it over here somewhere kind of in the blue because there was some blue in the sky uh, and of course the water. So I'm gonna try to bring that back. So that's what I'm doing now. If you take a look, I'm sort of uh, scooting that thing over to the right and uh, dragging some more blue back into the image. So. If I take that saturation out, you can see that it's uh, just the highlights uh, that I adjusted are, are showing. And now as I start to move up this slider here, you get a little bit more of the, uh, the shadows and, and I've got the blue selected. So I'm going to take that down a little bit in color. Um, and I think I might take this saturation up a little bit. I like the play of kind of the uh, sort of sunset glow off of the, you know, the uh, impending blue hour. So one of the things I like to do in Lightroom is just sort of do a com uh, compare, right? A before and after, and that's really easy to do with these light switches here. So I'm gonna turn off the split toning, and there you go. You have the image, which frankly I like. It's it's a fine image, and it was shot, uh, as I said, in Dublin along the River Liffey, but um, I really wanted to bring back some of the color that was in the sky and maybe give it a little bit more punch. So 
I add split toning and th there you go. Now, now that I've done that, I think that's probably a little bit much. So I think I'll take this down and uh, take that down a little bit. Um, there, I think I like that better. So back to the original where it's a little flatter, a little bit more washed out, uh, which I tend to do a lot with my HDRs um, when I first make them is to leave them a little bit flat uh, and leave some of the final punch, uh, if you will, uh, to happen here in Lightroom. But there you go, I click split toning again. Now, one other thing I usually do after split toning is if I, I generally like it, but I'm not 100% sold, I may come over here back to the basic panel and do some adjustments there, usually around the temperature and tent. So um, here we go. I'm just kind of sliding that around a little bit, maybe a little bit cooler. I don't know if I want to give that a purple. That's a little too much. Um, I think I'll go a little bit warmer, actually. But, um, yeah, there we go. And I think the whites are a little too bright, so I'm going to take that down a little bit. Maybe we'll play with the contrast a little as well. Maybe give it a little vibrancy and a little bit of clarity. And uh, there you go. That's that's about like what I remember it. Now I'm going to hit the backslash key, which is right above my uh, enter or return key. If you hit that once, that will take you back. You can see the colors that I started with, and you can actually in the sky make out um, some of these uh, dust spots or sensor spots. There was a bunch up here, but I, I've taken those out prior to starting this video, just so I didn't waste your time. And then there's back to where I was. So uh, that's a quick one. And let me show you now, again, the, the effects of split toning. I'll turn off the split toning, and that's what I would have had, which is a little too green, a little too kind of a flat yellow. And there you go, with the split toning applied, I've punched up the colors, changed the tones quite a bit, and made it look a whole lot more like the sunset that it was. So that's a quickie. Uh, you know what? There's actually one other thing on split toning I almost neglected to mention, and that's the balance slider. Um, and so as balance implies, uh, it's currently set in the middle, which is what it defaults to. But if you slide it to the left, it's going to slide the balance, if you will, more towards what you've done with the shadows. And if you recall, if you see here, the shadows are more in blue. So as I slid all the way left, the shadows uh, overtook. And if I slide it to the right all the way, which is a bit over the top, um, it'll it'll uh, you know balance uh, or err on the side of what I did to the highlights. Um, you can double click to put it back at zero. I might like that a little bit warmer, um, maybe something like that. So that's that's a little bit more balance towards the highlights, uh, and then. I'm going to try it one more time just down here. Uh, I like that going to the left and aiming more for the shadows, but it does lose uh, most of the orange kind of uh, glow. So I'm going to go back up. I kind of like that. So once again, final look, uh, the before, and then there's the after with split toning. It, it is a, a neat way to finish a photo, bring something to life, give you a little bit more punch, and it works incredibly well with uh, sort of the edges of the day and the light that's available then, and the blue hours, the sunrises, the sunsets. really helps accentuate those. So that's a quickie on split toning. Let me know if you have any questions. Thanks for tuning in. See you next time.